Hi everyone, this is Mike Moo here, back to you with another very important useful tip for all Adobe users. If you subscribe to Adobe Cloud or you have some sort of basic plan, you get some sort of cloud storage. Now eventually, that is going to end up being full. Now they don't really share with you how you are supposed to completely delete and empty your cloud stuff because there's nothing more annoying than trying to do something and synchronize uh, project files and save files and then you can't do it. So as you can see over here on the top right hand side, it says it's full again. And that gets a lot. So file sync error, out of storage, 101.5 gigabytes of 100 gigabytes used. Now the reason why they don't want you to easily delete is because they want you to upgrade. Right, because it's gonna they're they're gonna charge you a certain amount to upgrade, and well, if you want to, yes, makes sense. Go ahead and do it. Nine ninety nine a month for one terabyte. It's not the worst thing in the world. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how to go ahead and empty out the cloud documents that you don't need. Now, if you set it up appropriately, then uh, you have an Adobe Cloud Storage, and I'm showing it here on a Mac, and you will see that it is right here, Creative Cloud. I got all this stuff over here, right? So these things just take up space. Now, if you already deleted it, that's great, except they don't tell you that you still also have to empty the trash, and it's not the trash on your computer. It's the trash over on Adobe's side. Here you go. So you go to assets.adobe.com, right? Make sure you go ahead and log into your Adobe account. And as you can see, it says, I have no cloud documents, but I'm using up all my space. So this is what's extremely important. You got to go and go on the left hand side, click on deleted. And then see, these are all the things that I deleted. See, it says I have no cloud documents. So technically I should have, you know, close to over a hundred gigabytes left, but this is all the residual of all the different projects that I've done and saved. Uh, See, so I've been doing a whole bunch of high sense uh, videos in the past about the TVs. Just all the video stuff has been saved. Now you got to go in and you got to click it to select and then choose permanent delete. See, now that only deletes one item at a time. Here is the main key that you want to note. Hold down the shift key. Okay, so see, I selected one item. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard. Hold that down and then scroll or you can scroll all the way down to the bottom but hold down the shift key and then go to the very end of the last document and that will select everything basically it's it's just a, like doing a file selection on your computer but you're doing it in the cloud they used to have a function here where you can empty the entire trash can but it, they removed it why it probably increased revenues right away i think it's a little bit shady so i'm going to go ahead and shift and click on permanent delete and then I'm going to then delete permanently. Now, note the warning. You cannot undo this action. The following will be dele deleted forever. And yeah, I, I already looked through all this. So, you know, you don't have to sit here and wait for me to go ahead and do that. Now it's completely gone. Just give it a few seconds. And then you'll see down here in the bottom, after it's done, I guess it's going to take a little while here. After it's done, this will save up. I mean, this will give me back probably most of my space. Now, I still have other synchronized files that are uh, that didn't show that I had any cloud documents okay so now I'm going to go to files now as you can see right here I still have 25.4 gigabytes used and that's because I have a lot of sync files right so I keep these things in here so that whenever I'm jump jumping from computer to the computer I have the synchronized YouTube resources and stuff over here so as you can see it took just less than a minute to go ahead and do that's how you do it right Again, you go to assets.adobe.com, click on deleted, or if you if you need to delete, right, chances are you were trying to clear out space already, go to files, go to cloud documents, whatever it is you need to do, and just select the stuff to delete and delete. Use the shift key, go ahead and select multiple files at the same time. If you want to do select all, just, sh just make sure you select the first item, all right, on the list, and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom and hold down the shift key and click the check mark. That will select all of your files. All right, that's it for this tip. Hope this was useful to you. I knew this was for me. It took me a long time to go ahead and get around to doing this. And periodically, I still gotta come in here and of course, do that whole delete thing again, because you gotta remember, you cannot delete it from your computer since it's in the cloud. It doesn't synchronize that way. You actually have to go to Adobe Cloud to do this. That's it for this video. Please give a like, subscribe for more, and share this with all your friends because we will all run into this sooner or later, and it's frustrating as heck uh, when you're in the middle of something 
and you find out that the stuff you thought was saved in Singdown Cloud wasn't because you ran out of space. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.